Today we're gonna talk about a bunch of news from new software releases and updates, Intel, Nvidia AI tools, Unreal Engine 5, rendering news and more. As the popularity of photogrammetry and 3D scanning is growing, Epic Games and Capturing Reality have announced Reality Scan, the photogrammetry app designed to simplify the process of scanning real-world objects and sharing them via Sketchfab. The 3D scanning app was developed in collaboration with Quixel and aims to bring reality capture to smartphone devices using a simplified workflow that removes technical barriers as much as possible, making it accessible to everyone on all devices. The app is in a limited beta phase for iOS, but the Android version is expected to be released in few months. Pilgway, the developers behind 3D Code, announced the release of the new 3D Code 2022 and the latest update for 3D Code Textura 2022 as well. The new features include enhanced voxel and surface sculpting to be able to handle heavy scenes with millions of triangles, in addition to improved auto rate topology, new voxel brush engine, a long list of alpha collections which will allow you to create more complex surfaces and reliefs, also there is a new core API, improved shader node system, and for hard surface modeling, the new version offers a new bevel tool to work with edges and corners, in addition to course tools and the ability to export in GLTF format. Also, as part of their GDC 2022 announcement, Intel demonstrated their latest AI-powered upscaling algorithm, Intel RxE Super Sampling, or for short XESS, which is intended to be a real-time rendering solution. Also part of Intel's showcase is a demo that runs on Intel Arc GPU at 4K resolution and was built using Unreal Engine with DX12 enabled. In the video, the technical director compares native 4K resolution with the upscaled equivalent, showing increased visuals with reduced artifacts. The technology was also showcased on a game called Dolmen. As the game's CTO and lead programmer, he shared that Intel XESS was easy to integrate and helped the studio hit that 60fps mark with ray tracing enabled. 3D scanning is witnessing a huge improvement day by day, whether it is the speed or the quality of the performance. NVIDIA has shared a new research that showcases an AI algorithm capable of recreating a 3D scene from just a small collection of 2D objects, and it can do this in just a few seconds, using a technique called Neural Radiance Fields. This technique will allow for a reconstruction of a scene from just a couple of images, which is cool to say the least. Kaios has announced the release of Kaios Corona 8 for 3DS Max and Cinema 4D. The new version offers a number of new tools, an asset library, and a new name because Corona Renderer is officially now Kaios Corona. One of the tools introduced in this update is Kaios Scatter, which can help you place trees, rocks, grass, flowers, cars, and other objects where randomization and repetition is required. Kaios Scatter replaces a Corona Scatter and features the ability to edit individual instances, slope limiting for the scattered instances, surface color mapping, a better viewport display, and much more. Also similar to Kaios Cosmos for V-Ray, this update offers instant access to a huge collection of assets, materials, and HDRI skies right from within a 3D host application. The asset categories cover furniture, accessories, people, vegetation, and vehicles, just to name a few. Another new useful tool is Corona Decal, which allows for adding surface details and imperfections by projection textures and materials onto surfaces just to name a few. Other tools such as Corona Slicer for better geometry boolean slicer that can be a lot faster and can be animated as well. In another Kaios news, Vintage 7 was released. It is a real-time visualization and rendering ray tracing engine. The new version introduced a number of new features that include the support for normal map rendering, clay mode override in the material tab that can be applied globally with the added option to preserve the original material's reflection, refraction, bump, opacity, and self-elimination, in addition to global ambient occlusion controls and the ability to animate the geolocated sun for time-lapse animation. This in addition to support for Cosmos materials and a ton of improvements and bug fixes. Kaios has announced also the acquisition of Ciclendo, a 3D product visualization platform for commerce that aims to simplify the creation of product configuration, AI and VR experiences, room scenes, plus other interactive 3D sales tools. 
Light Engine also released Light Tracer Renderer 2.3. The latest update for the 3D rendering software and physically based GPU renderer that can run directly in the web browser. The new version introduces an online material library with over 1500 PBR materials and it offers a light library with more than 30 physically accurate studio light presets. In addition, Light Tracer Renderer also improved animation support and workflow, and the ability to import SketchUp models, improved tone mapping and color grading. Also animation capabilities, vertex colors, in addition to 360 view export. AXYZ Design released a sneak peek video of Anima 5, the latest version of the character animation software. The video showcases a real-time preview made with Anima 5 in addition to Unreal Engine 5. Anima has an AI system, which allows the characters to avoid each other, get on and off stairs, escalators, tracks and sidewalks. The characters are driven by motion capture data, which gives the ability to utilize procedural contextual motion and makes crowd animation much more realistic and robust. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.